Hi students today we are going to see 10 tips to write a perfect long answer in B.Ed examination that is there are 10 points where first one is introduction second meaning of the topic third aim and objectives fourth characteristics fifth diagram or a picture sixth advantages and disadvantages seventh curriculum eighth method of teaching ninth application and at last tenth is the conclusion let's see in detail introduction in introduction write a simple introduction about a topic make sure not to use the bombasting words in your sentence because it will make a reader confused so the introduction must be simple and strict to the topic provided by the examination sheet second meaning of the topic make sure to write down the meaning of the topic or write down some definition given by different educationalist or scientist etc although it will make a an answer rich by adding a statement to it make sure to add the topic or a word it gives a answer rich and detailed outlook third aim and objective this portion is an important part of every answer that you will write in examination especially for ba students because it create a significant amount of trust to the examiner whoever is going to examine your answer sheet every topic has its own aim and objectives it could be different from other but you must add aim and objective to your answer sheet characteristics of the topic it is also an important aspect of a long answer after writing the aim and objective you must add the basic characteristic of the concerned topic for instance it is flexible or not it is good for students or not etc it would suggest um you read the books before making any notes fifth point diagram or a picture diagram and picture will be the center of attraction whenever a reader go through your answer and uh, he or she will find a amazing diagram or a chart then that would be a great experience as long as you add some special effort to your answer you will be benefited from this advantage and disadvantages sixth point everything has its own advantage and disadvantages make sure to add some bullet points whenever you write your answer because it enriches the answer writing advantages of a particular person or idea or a theory is not a big deal whatever you know about the topic just write it down seventh point is curriculum after writing all those points you need to add this point to your answer sheet in other words the curriculum means the syllabus what should be the curriculum for your answer for example social study all school subject music art drama or vocational education science eighth point application that means the uses of that uh, topic apart from all those important points what student can apply after getting all the knowledge and information how a person apply those thing into their real life that is what for example by doing social work or by making something seminar and plain etc ninth point method of teaching it is used by a teacher to enable students learning it focuses on strategies based on the topic it could be teacher centric or student centric in which way a teacher should teach to his students for example project method discovery method experiment method or the flexible and a dynamic method etc 10th one is the conclusion this this is one of the crucial part of a long answer you have to summarize the topic into some lines and you can also be called the summary of the answer some people say that the conclusion should be their own opinion about the topic both are correct if you want to express yourself by adding your viewpoint 
then that's okay but if you want to just summarize your above points then that could be okay these are the 10 tips to write a perfect long answer in b8 examination thank you friends